Well, Britons who join the fight in Syria have been warned they could be arrested when they return home. But that's worrying some supporters of the opposition who insist British Muslims shouldn't be criminalised for backing a cause they believe in. Our Home Affairs correspondent Dashna Soni has this. Early this morning in Birmingham, an ambulance full of donations for Syria being loaded by volunteers. What we take is food, which is essential, medicine, the main, anything you can buy off the shelf, like can what you you've got here, you've got bandages, paracetamol for children. These efforts are being coordinated by the organisation Keep Syria Warm. Thousands of British Muslims have responded to their appeal. But there's a concern that some may now be deterred by the government's announcement that anyone going to Syria faces arrest in response to the small minority of Brits who have joined the rebel fighters. I don't think you can make the exception the rule. Um, for a few people, if they're going out there, they're seeing what they're doing. Unfortunately, you know, the emotions are getting the best of them. They then go uh, and, and begin to fight. Should we then let the Syrian people starve and freeze to death because of the actions of a few people? We cannot judge the majority based on the actions of a minority. It's estimated that up to 400 Brits have joined the rebels, including this Londoner, Ibrahim al mazagwi Channel 4 News broadcast this exclusive footage of him in Syria shortly before he was killed. But there is no one opposition. Some rebel groups, including al-Nusra, are affiliated to al-Qaeda. Many are turning to social media to boast of their exploits. In this blog, a young Muslim man claims to be British and in Syria with opposition fighters. He's been posting photos and writing updates. He tries to justify his decision to fight and calls on others to join him. The point is this, to inspire you, the reader, to rely on Allah alone and to make your way to us. Your brothers and sisters are in need of you. We are in need of you. We need more men. The announcement that anyone travelling from the UK to Syria will face arrest has caused huge concern here. Already this month, 16 people have been arrested, including three from here in Birmingham. The Association of Chief Police Officers warned recently that those returning may pose a terror threat to Britain. But there is a concern that this policy may alienate some in the community. We spoke to people about why the conflict has attracted such a huge strength of feeling. Syria is a holy land um, and Syria has been prophesied by the Holy Prophet as well. Um, and they, they feel the need to go um, and this is the time to go that they feel they need to go as it's a time of struggle in Syria. Should people who go to fight be arrested when they get back? I'll give you a, an example. Uh, years ago with the Soviet invasion of Afghanistan, many people were uh, talking about these guys as being freedom fighters. You know, they were going there to help the cause. Um, and it's just unfortunate, um, you know, political figures tend to demonise those that do really want to help. But the government still hold Madrid. Volunteering to help fight in foreign lands is nothing new, of course. The Spanish Civil War in the 1930s attracted some 4,000 British men and women who saw themselves as freedom fighters against fascism. It's very interesting because there are lots of similar parallels. So if you look at the Spanish Civil War and the war in Afghanistan, and they feel actually going out and fighting against Assad is a just war. For many, the moral case is clear. The aid efforts by volunteers will continue, they say, for a conflict that governments are failing to resolve.